YouTube and welcome to another video from Alex Does DIY. Uh, just a quick video, I thought I'd show you something uh, pretty cool that I was just started doing uh, for the first time. Um, probably not highly recommended, but as the title says, it's using your uh, drill press as a lathe. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll take you in closer to this job that I've started doing um, and show you how you can use your drill press as a lathe. So what you can see here is just a small round slug of aluminium. Um, that I'm working on for an upcoming project that I've got. Uh, to get it into my drill chuck, it actually already had a threaded hole in here and I've just threaded a, screwed a bolt into that and then cut the head off the bolt so that I could fit it into my chuck. What I'm actually trying to do here is uh, form a, a conical shape or bring this actually down to a point. Um, something that would be an easy job if you did have a lathe, but unfortunately I don't have one as yet. Um, so what I initially started doing was I had it uh, mounted in the drill press and I was taking a, uh, just a rough file and working it against the, against the side to try and bring that down and uh, it was taking forever and then the idea struck me to try and um, set up the drill press to use as a lathe. So I'll zoom out here a bit so you can see what I've got going on here. I don't know how well you can see that, but on the on the uh, drill press table, what I've got here mounted is a it's a, it's a slide vise or a cross slide vise, I guess you'd call it. It goes upwards and down and backwards and forwards. I've turned my uh, drill press table at an angle corresponding to the angle that I want to take down the piece of aluminium here that I've got mounted in the chuck and then screwed into the cross slide vise. I've just got an old uh, chisel. Um, I probably wouldn't do this with a good chisel. It's a pretty old and crappy chisel, but it's still got a fair bit of an edge on it there. And so basically all I'm doing is turning the, this at speed, not too fast, and I'm gradually working the chisel up. And I'll zoom in here so you can see that a little bit better. Gradually working the chisel up as I turn to form that edge. You can see I've started a little bit already. I'm actually planning on working this all the way down into a conical shape. Um, I'm just playing around with the idea of making a plastic injection moulding machine and uh, uh, using this piece as the actual injection nozzle. So I'll turn on the drill press and uh, give you a look at what it looks like. So I'm only moving it in really slightly because um, Obviously the shaft bearings here in your drill press aren't designed to take sideways pressure. Um, so just going in very gradually. But so far it certainly seems to be doing the job. So as you can see there, it's working quite a nice chamfer onto the, uh, the leading edge there of this uh, block of aluminium. I wouldn't use anything harder than aluminium. I certainly probably wouldn't go steel, or if I did, um, I'd use a lot of lubricant. Um, but certainly aluminium or plastic or wood or anything like that, I think this is a, it's a great idea if you've got one of these cross slide vices on your uh, drill press table. It's a great idea. So. Um, there we go, using your drill press as a lathe. Thanks for watching.